Previously on Decluttering My Life. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to episode four of my Decluttering My Life series. If you are new here and this is the first one you are watching, I feel free to tune in to, it's gonna be like over here, I think. I think it's gonna be over here. But feel free to check out my playlist that I have created of me decluttering my entire home. It started with me just wanting to like declutter my closet and dive in deeper into realizing I actually have a lot more to take care of than I thought. So here we are, I am bringing y'all along my journey of decluttering my entire home. It's not just organization, it is literally getting rid of a lot of things I've been holding on to for many, many years. In this video, we are ripping the band-aid off on the garage, y'all. I was planning, I'm gonna be honest, I was planning to stay upstairs, come downstairs, and then kind of head on out into any other area that needed to be decluttered. But I'm learning as I go that I kind of need to alter my process to my lifestyle. Right now I am also on a health and fitness journey and my focus is getting back on track with my health, my fitness, mentally, physically, all around the board. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but for the past few days, while I have been on track and I have been going hard and I've been actually doing really good with that, my garage is not only just way too messy and cluttered for me to like comfortably get a workout in, I notice that when I go out for a run and I come back home where I would normally finish out in my garage, cause I do have a home gym, y'all will see it in a second. Once I get into the garage, I'm not motivated anymore. Like. It's just too much stuff around me. It blocks me up mentally and I just need to bring the inspiration back into the home gym, which also, if you're new here, my garage was a complete labor of love from the epoxy on the floor to the wall paint to every single thing that you see. So, so y'all know how it goes. I'm just gonna show you what we're working with and you know we're gonna get straight to it because we're about to transform this garage in more ways than I think I expect, if that makes sense, but follow me. <sighs> <laughs> I love how every door I come to, right? Every door I come to, I'm like, oh. girl, open the door. Okay, here's the garage. Oh, it's dark. Hold on. Lights. Damn. I'm sorry. Yeah. 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 Is it sad if I honestly say that it has been way worse? And if you know, you know. But I'm almost certain that this will be the last time that we actually see my garage like this. So, just some light in here, some real light. Okay, so now that we have some real daylight in here, we can go ahead and get started. Before I get into any of this mess, what we plan to do, where we're gonna start, I have to share with y'all that I finally got my last set of storage racks that are gonna complete my overhead organization, y'all. And I am so excited because when I clean out this garage, this is going to give me so much more options, functionality, and space to put things above my head, out of sight, out of mind. Let's talk about it. Flexi mounts. Flexi mounts reached out to me, y'all. This was even before I started this decluttering series. When I tell you divine timing, divine timing. Now I've worked with Flexi mounts before. I love their company. This Garage storage rack is from Flexi Mounts. I have a whole video of me putting things up there for storage. Also, me sitting my over 200 pound self on top of that. Today. Oh my God, what is that? And it has been holding so good ever since. I've had no problems with it and it's packed to capacity. When I first got that, I mentioned that ultimately my overall goal for overhead storage would be an overhead storage rack to the right, 
an overhead storage rack to the left but also I wanted something not too big but a little bit smaller for things that I might want to access without having to grab a ladder and I got just that y'all check it out so to complete my ceiling setup y'all I have the second four by eight ceiling storage rack and that's the same color in black as this one here they always will package their storage racks I'm gonna open this up so you can kind of see exactly how it's delivered what comes in the box now what I love about the flexi mount storage racks is they're completely configurable. They have like a two by six. They have different sizes that fit different dimensions. The one that I got comes with four of these separate kind of like grid based racks. Very solid, very sturdy. And as you can see, it's just packed perfectly tight and snug. These are the like rack connectors like that here i guess it's perfect that i already have one installed <laughs> but that kind of connects it to each side now i love a good diy but this is something that i just personally have chosen not to do on my own but you can absolutely put this up by yourself it's probably not recommended as one person probably best to do it with two but it's it is a diy project so you can do it on your own it even comes with this installation template which makes it so so easy to line up the screws and speaking of screws, here are your screws. It comes with literally every piece that you could need so you don't have to go getting anything extra. It is ready to set up upon delivery. This is the four by eight ceiling storage rack. Now this one here is a true first impression, y'all. This is the four foot by four foot overhead garage storage lift. And as you can see that picture, it has a lever which allows you to bring it up Take it down very easily without having to get a ladder every single time. Let's take a look. This one also comes with an installation template. Of course, it's got a little bit more moving pieces because it works with a lever that you're able to kind of wind. It'll lift up, it'll lift down. I think this will be perfect for something like my pressure washer or just shop vac it could really be any type of tool or any type of storage a couple of storage bins that i don't necessarily have to get to all the time but every so often i have to this is the perfect thing because when it comes to things that are stored high i don't always want to grab my ladder and this i'm excited for because it's going to be a perfect functional item not too big just the right size and i'm thinking i'll probably put that like here right above here there just a very simple four by four square that acts as extra storage that i can just come to lower raise at my convenience i am so excited about this y'all like <laughs> can y'all tell i'm excited i'm excited because it comes just in time but more excited because i can already attest to the quality and the durability of flexi mounts overhead storage so i know that i'm getting something that's going to be exact to what i already have and it's just going to add the final touches it is going to allow me to give my garage that facelift that visual clutter the crowdedness that you see in a lot of garages and just literally out of sight out of mind let me show you let me give you a visual real quick of what i mean right i'm gonna leave my garage <laughs> Now let's look past the mess for a second because in this video, we are gonna completely clean this out, okay? We're gonna clean this out, so don't worry about that. But if you look up, all you see is my garage door. The purpose of that overhead storage is that when you are physically in a garage or looking into a garage, it just makes it disappear. It makes it disappear. It gives you the freedom to take those storage bins that are an eyesore or to take those boxes or bags that you might just have sitting in your garage and completely take them out of plain sight and then boom you still have access to the things that you need the things that you love or just the things you don't necessarily have a place for just yet the excitement is real y'all and the transformation the makeover of this garage is going to be even more real so i want to thank flexi mounts for reaching back out to me again and collaborating giving more quality and functional space while i declutter my garage i'm excited now you heard it here first, I'm giving y'all a heads up. Flexi Mounts is having a flash sale on March the 13th. My new favorite day, cause it's daylight savings time and I can get some more sun back. <laughs> But seriously, if you've been seeing flexi mounts, if you have been considering getting overhead storage, garage storage, you got clutter in your garage and you just really need to clear out some space, 
I would highly recommend taking advantage of their flash sale where you can get 20% off of anything on the site. March the 13th, I'm gonna drop their link, their information down below in my description box, y'all. Overhead storage is game changing. And if you can relate and attest to that, comment below, let them know. But I wanted to share that with y'all before we got into this video, so it's decluttering time. So just to give a good look of what the garage is looking like, real and raw okay the sun is about to go down this is probably not the best time but we're gonna do it anyway i'm gonna start by taking the boxes for the overhead racks and just putting them in the house because they're like last step like i have to find somebody to install them in everything so we're gonna get those in now we're just gonna get straight to it let's do it
right, y'all. We need to talk. <laughs> we need to talk because yes, it looks much better, right? Yes, I can get a workout in here and I can feel motivated. I can look in my mirror, I can do my thing. But I just got super inspired. Oh, why do I do this to myself? <laughs> As you can see, we still have clutter here and we still have clutter here. And this isn't necessarily clutter, but when I was about to address this, it made me think of this, which started making me think of that. So real quick, this just changed from a garage clean out, you know, simple garage to clutter, free up some space to a full on holiday seasonal garage declutter now while like most of my christmas stuff is put away there were like a few remnants left that i hadn't necessarily like stored away you've got some in some of the bins you've got some up here and just the last few things now i was about to start putting these in bins storing them away but it got me to thinking there is so much old christmas stuff not even just christmas stuff valentine's day freaking Halloween, Thanksgiving. This is a freaking ice cream machine. Brand new, never used. Just an example of things that I actually have stored in this garage that while I'll have the storage to put away, I think this is a perfect opportunity to take everything down. Oh my God, am I doing this? I think I'm crazy y'all, cause I'm actually like, I I'm gonna do this. I'm taking everything out of the bins, everything down from storage, putting it in the middle of this garage, and like we did the clothes, like we did the books, like we did the paper, I'm gonna go through Christmas, Thanksgiving, Easter, Valentine's Day, all my seasonal stuff, all of the boxes and ornaments and stuff that I just have been holding on to, and we gonna declutter, declutter. We not just gonna find a space for it. It's time to let go of some more stuff because I really want my garage, I, I want my whole house. I genuinely want my whole house to feel like my master closet, like the rooms upstairs, like I can move forward with a fresh, clear mind, knowing I'm not bringing anything unnecessary into the future with me and with intent. So this has turned into part two. Okay, y'all, so while I would love to just fit all of this into one video, it's just not realistic to the task that I have ahead of me. The sun is setting, so the sun is about to be gone. Um, I really have to get my mind ready for this because it may not seem like a lot, but when we get to the point of pulling everything out, you will see exactly <laughs> how much I have been collecting bringing forward from year to year when it comes to seasonal stuff. Um. <sighs> I think my excitement just left, y'all. I'm be honest, I think my excitement just left. Overwhelm is starting to creep back in, but I know this needs to be done. I know this needs to be done, so I'm gonna flow with it. Y'all coming along with the journey with me. Part two of the garage declutter. We are decluttering for real. No more band-aids, no more temporary fixes, no more hiding anything, y'all. The other day I went out to my car, I took a trash bag and I just start cleaning. And I just start cleaning. And then I just start pulling pieces out and power washing the rugs and bringing out the soap, the vacuums, tossing stuff that's been in there for forever. Like I completely cleaned out my car. I didn't record any of that, but that was just a small moment of really what I've been going through. I have not been recording everything. Right now, I am so thankful. I am so thankful because I really, I don't have words. I do not have words for the switch that this journey has turned on for me. It's one that I don't know if I've ever felt before. Like I said, I've been like this or I've like cluttered in the way that I clutter all my life. So I'm thankful for the perspective and I am holding on to the motivation and inspiration I'm having to just see this through for my entire house. Because going forward, I truly feel that I can maintain this in a way that it should never get this bad to begin with. Look, I knew my mind was shifting when I was at work, right? And I grabbed my clothes out of the dryer. And instead of tossing them into a bin or just leaving them there, 
I took a bow. I just started folding them at my desk while I was working. And then I didn't even realize I was doing it until I was doing it. And then I had a moment. I was like, are you doing this? Is this you? But it just felt so good. It's like therapy to me right now. Like, And I love the fact that I will be able to look back on this. I love the fact that I'm able to look back on all of this at any point. Like, sometimes I even forget how my house got to where it was. And then I'll go to my Fixer Upper house tour and I'll be like, wow. Wow. You know what I mean? I'm just having a moment. So no, while everything is not in this video, know that I'm sharing this journey in a way that is pure and real to what's actually happening in my real life. It's not a, I'm trying to rush this to get this video out, to do, no, no, no. Like, if it takes a little bit more time to get to the next step, and that's what it's gonna be. I'm just following a path that is rolling out in front of me, and I'm loving this journey. I'm gonna stop talking, because I'm talking a lot. Hey, hey, I got a question for you. Why haven't you subscribed? I mean, like, you've seen my face several times, probably. If you haven't, like, you made it to the end of this video, so, I mean, if you like home content, if you like good, wholesome content with good vibes and good intent, feel free to subscribe, join the tribe. We would love to have you, girl, boy, whoever you is. I see you watching. Tap that button and then tap that bell because it ain't official till you do that, okay? Like always, comment below. Tell me your thoughts on anything that was mentioned in this video. Although we are not done, obviously, I do have my gym back, okay? And it is day two, March the 2nd, y'all. I woke up at 4.30 this morning, got my workout in. Yesterday, I got my workout in. It wasn't in the morning, but that's not the point. My goal, I'm not gonna put my goals out there, actually. I got goals this month when it comes to fitness and health. If you are not following my vlog channel on Shondaland, I share more of that over there, so feel free to do so. Even this simple clean out here is gonna help aid in that journey that I am on. So I appreciate all the love and support y'all are giving me on this journey. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day and I will see y'all in the next video. Whoa, I just almost split my leg in half. And if I'm being honest, it might have been, what the fuck? Oh, hold on. <laughs> Can y'all see me? It's, this is probably, <laughs> That's what it felt like. It felt just like that. This camera is shaking, right? I know I've been drinking coffee, but this this camera's shaking. What are you shaking? I'm watching you. This just changed. The birds are back, y'all. They are back. <laughs> Somebody's like looking at me, talking to my camera. <laughs> Not what it seems. And if I'm being honest, it might have been a nightmare for anyone who might care. I think my AC compressor is gonna be delivered. <laughs> Got my air conditioner working my car. Why am I telling y'all this? Hold on. Yeah, I go out, won't good. Hold on. I go I want good. Yeah. I go I want good.